someone down here with me? <gasps> yes. I'll kill both. Kill both. Again? Again? That happened last time. Did you follow us? Are you the evil entity in the house? Is that you? <gasps> Shut up! You look at Did you turn the light on? He turned the light on! What? Oh, oh my oh, god! It's an omen! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! No, 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 I'm freaking crying. I'm crying. I don't, do, is it bad? It wants to kill us. That's bad. What's up guys, my name is Kaylee and tonight we are investigating the infamous Lizzie Borden house with no one other than Lizzie her fucking self. This is literally Lizzie, my bitch. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah guys, we are here at the Lizzie Borden bed and breakfast. We are going to be staying the entire night here and we're gonna be investigating, hoping to talk to Mr. Borden, Mrs. Borden. I personally don't think Lizzie is here, but some people do, so maybe Lizzie. Apparently there are children in the attic. We shall see. So we are now gonna go into the house and we are going to start with a tour. Lizzie's trying to open it. I can't show you the code. Yeah, so the code. Also, I just wanna point out, we did not expect that this place was like in the middle of a big city. Like, look what we're next to. Like, what is that? And then there's more, like this is a literal city. I thought that this would be in a tiny town. I'm shocked too. Looks like a tiny townhouse, but it's, it's not, it's in the city. Look how beautiful this place is. Oh, it doesn't work. There's Miss Lizzie. And how cool is this? Most of this furniture is actually original. Like, there's literal pictures of the house that have this furniture in it. Haunted mirror selfie. This is the walkway. Oh! I didn't remember. Oh, oh, look, look, look. I don't know if you guys heard that, but the door. Yeah, the door keeps. Look it, listen. The door keeps opening by itself, like the lock. There's no one out there. There's no one there. It keeps it keeps happening. It's so weird. Like trying to come in and out. Yeah. That's what I was saying. I think Dude. the ghosts are like respectful and like they lock the door in modern times. I wonder, I, I, I don't know, should we go ahead and like announce ourselves and just be like, hey. I actually already did for both of us. You did? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll also say it too, just in case. When we put um, our stuff upstairs, I kind of announced us because like I didn't want to be rude and just walk in and not talk. So I already did an announcement, but I'll announce myself later when we go to like start investigating. But this room that I am in right now is the actual room where Andrew Borden was hacked. This is the exact spot where he died. It's so sad. Not the exact couch, but it's a pretty good replica. And here he is. I don't know what this room is. I haven't been in here yet. Oh, it's a living room. I love the red lights. They keep it very ominous. Found in the Bo Borden barn. And yeah, guys, a lot of this stuff is original, like tables, chairs, furniture. It's really cool. Oh my God, those are the actual skulls. Oh my God, I don't think I can show those pictures. Am I allowed to show these pictures on YouTube? I don't think I am, but if y'all are interested in, in seeing the pictures, if, if you're into that, you can just look them up on Google, but these are the real pictures of like them dead. That's insane. I did not know that I would be seeing that today. And then over here, now this is this isn't as bad. These are real pictures of their skulls. Replica of the skull. And then replica. Is this the axe or a replica? I think it's a replica. I don't know what that is, but is the dining room. Look at all those like little things. Mm -hmm. Then we come to the kitchen. This is the kitchen. How cute. I like how they made the modern fridge. It's a modern fridge. They put like the not so modern stuff on top of it to make it look cool. This is really cool. Oh my God, potatoes. Potatoes. 
Who's this? Alice. I don't know who Alice is, but there she is. Oh yeah. The police that came, they were like disgusted leaving. I'm disgusted looking at this picture. It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Oh my god. I mean, and just like one look at the photos, or even just like hearing about the case, like even like, like, you know. Where is this one? This might need to be like, like tattooed on the back or whatever. But like stabbings, like those are considered to be like very, very personal crimes. So yeah. So when you look at something that's like an axe murder, and it was their faces, like they axed their face. Like you have to. Someone like that has to be like, like that has to be like someone who like ugliest part of humanity to murder someone in LA. Yeah, these pictures are really gross, guys. I I know I told you guys to go look them up if you want to see them, but just just a fair Massive warning. Look it up at warning. like your own. Just just whatever that word is. Massive trigger warning, and like I'm also gonna probably flash a content warning for this whole video because it, this does get into some pretty like gruesome stuff. I feel like our whole weekend is really going to kind of like yeah. tackle some really big topics. So guys, I just found this book, and I didn't even tell Lizzie what it was. This book is a book where people write down what happens to them Stop. while they're here. So I'm going to read you guys some of it. Let's see. 5, 4, 23. So that was two days ago how did i open up to that page is my question i just went Psh. two days ago this happened was investigating the basement plus heard footsteps on the stairs as, as if someone was coming down the stairs we walked upstairs to see no one they don't know how to talk and and spooky had a lovely stay plus had a few ghostly encounters Okay, not that fun. Specific not that fun. I want I something like crazy. Ghostly encounter, like, what do you mean? 42023, 20, we came for my daughter's 17th birthday. While, while in something room, I felt Max the cat. Cat? Who is Max? Max the cat every time we went in. We stayed in Lizzie's room. My daughter was unable to sleep due to coughing all night from something interesting so there's a cat we have cat balls <gasps> so wait that was, i've never used the cat balls with a ghost cat i've never even heard of a ghost cat oh yeah ghost cats exist we're gonna find out if there's a ghost cat hopefully it plays with our balls i have a really bad headache i'm starting to feel like sick sitting here yeah it feels bad and I'm normally not like that either. Like, I don't like walk in the places and be like, oh, this place is crazy. Oh, this place doesn't feel good. This, I actually like feel legitimately sick right now. Like I just started feeling like, I legitimately might throw up right now. I feel it. No, the second that you said like she got sick from something, I was like, I don't want, I don't want this to be like placebo or anything, but I like feel- I wasn't even, I, I, I did, I'm not even thinking what I'm reading those. That's actually crazy. No, I feel like legitimately sick right now. I wonder if we're gonna be able to sleep tonight. We're gonna have to take melatonin. <laughs> Don't worry, I brought it. She brought it. Brought We're good. I brought, I brought a night light. A night light? A night light, <laughs> just in case. It's a little toast and you press it down, then it pops open. Like it's like a little toast light. This bitch. I thought that would protect us. Personally, I don't think I want a night light because when you wake up, then you can see the demons at your feet. You ever think about it that way? I mean, it just depends on like what experience you're wanting. <laughs> you want that? Do I want to see the demons at my feet? Yeah. I feel like I would see the demons at my feet a lot easier with it, with all the lights off. I don't know if I want to see the demons at my feet. I don't know. I just hope I sleep. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to read maybe like one more just to see That's what's it. going on in here. I'm reading. I'm trying to get a good one before I start reading again because that first one was pretty shit. <laughs> Sorry, first person, but not a good, not a good story. Write me something fucking insane. Oh, that one opened. My okay. My left his hat. So we came back to get it. We searched our room, Lizzie and Emma's suite, and couldn't find it. We looked in the bathroom, and there it sat on the mat in front of the shower. He didn't take it in there. Maybe Lizzie liked it better. Or, Should we be or, stuff out? Or, the Andrew Gordon? Andrew, maybe he liked that. Was it like a little top hat, maybe? I don't know. 
Two of us slept like the dead, two of us didn't sleep. I can't read these people's shit. Our cups flew off the sink. I hope my cup don't fall upstairs. It's right above your MacBook. So oh, if the shoot. ghost does it, it's not my fucking fault. I have to bill them. I have to send the ghost the bill. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> so Max the cat at her ankles in the- so I don't want to feel a ghost cat. There's I feel so, so much sick right now though. No this, joke. I feel disgusting in here. I think I'm gonna need just like a little- You know it's right, right behind this where he died, right? Right. No, I, I actually kind of feel like I should be a little bit I feel really weird right now. All right guys, so now that we heard some of the stories, I am gonna take you guys upstairs and, oh, oh, look at this. First I wanna show you guys these outfits. Look at these. Elizabeth Montgomery. These are like clothes, look. There it goes again, the door and no one comes in. It's crazy. Oh, I can't show you guys that up close, but that's a picture of Mr. Borden dead on the couch. That is so sad. Here he is. All right, let's go up these stairs. So when you first walk up the stairs, this is our room. This is who is this guy? John V. Morris. John, John Morse. This is the uncle. This is his room, and this is where Miss Borden well, it's died. Well, technically his room. Like, I think it was her room. I think it was like Adam guest Borden's room. room like, or like a guest room. But he was out in the guest house, but this is just where Abby died. Why do they call it his room then? I think they had to, they just wanted to name each Oh, room okay. After someone. So kind of just a guest room in the house, and... Yeah. She was just in here, and I don't think I can show this picture, but this is this exactly is where she died. Right there. And this is where we're sleeping. I'm gonna cover up her body, but this, see that? This is original. This is original. This is original, and it's actually... Where's the picture? Oh, 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 hang on, hang on. It's actually in the picture. Do you see it back there? That's crazy. That's original. I don't know about these couches, but that's original. That's original. The bed is not. That'd be kind of gross. Uh, and then when you leave, we have a bathroom over here. Oh, I actually didn't see the bathroom yet. This is a very, very nice sink. Hello again. And then over here is Lizzie and Emma's rooms. This one is Lizzie's. with her picture on the wall over there. And then this one over here is Emma's room. I don't know if this dress is original. That's what I was asking too. Very, very nice like stuff here. Oh, I really like this painting. In this bed, I like this, this bed's bread. And then after their rooms is their parents' room. So this is the master bedroom. I'm pretty sure that. Oh, that no, there's two rooms, right? Yeah, so I, that's what I'm thinking that they They didn't sleep people. together. But Should did they sleep? sleep together in the same room? I know that in the 1800s, a lot of wives and husbands did not sleep together and they would have separate rooms yeah so that's why i that's why i was wondering whose whose bed this one is because there's a room over there and like lizzie said it was not normal for them to sleep together back then which is such a good idea by the way you probably get the best fucking sleep sleeping by yourself yeah so i don't know whose room this was i don't i really don't know but there's two of them So we do have some friends up here. We ended up making some friends with some other guests. Oh my gosh, this is a whole other thing up here. So this is the kids' room where the kids are, and the story of the kids is there were two children murdered here, I guess. Yeah. And this is the third I'm like floor. Like choking on, on dust. That's what the story said. She kept coughing. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god. My eyes are watering. I think I saw. What is this one? Oh, oh, is this, this her room? This is Bridget Sullivan's room. This is Bridget's oh room. Gosh. So this was the maid. Oh, we gotta be able to get up here tonight and do an investigation. 
Is this the cat? Is that Max the cat? I don't know. That might be him. It's him. He's gonna play with our balls tonight. Oh, oh my God, look at these, look at these things. Ooh. Those, those, like, those gimmicky dolls, they have these dolls. Yeah, in they the gift sell shop. those in the gift shop. And they're like, they're like, be careful. What is this? Oh. Tragedy, oh, it's like a little illustration of the trial. Uh, pause to read. There's this room. Oh, this is the kids' room. Can we come see? Oh my gosh, okay. This one's the kids' room. That's why there's lots of toys. Oh, there's a lollipop. And look at the window, like, ominously being open. All right, guys, so that was your tour of the Lizzie Borden house, and now we are going to go to the Tipsy Toboggan to get some... What was that? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Anyways, we're going to the Tipsy Toboggan. We're gonna get some food, we're gonna get some drink, and I will see you there. What is that noise? Why does it look like there's blood on this? What is that? Hello? See at the tips. Every time I say tipsy toboggan. There's a sign. I'll see you at the tipsy toboggan. All right, guys, we are now at the Tipsy Toboggan getting tipsy. tipsy. <laughs> Eating over there, Lizzie. We are both having the clam chowder. And I don't know if it's the drinks or what it is, but it tastes like the <laughs> best clam chowder I've ever had. This is the best fucking, I don't know. Chowder, but <laughs> we've also never had clam chowder, but it's, it's the best. We're in New England, so we had to have New England clam chowder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got our food. I got, well, I got the wrong order, but it's okay because I talked to them and they're gonna give me the other order from Bridge. So now I got two foods, two orders. Double the meal. Double meal? We have a snack I'm gonna take snack. Okay, so this is pot roast poutine, but what I wanted is pot roast risotto. So that'll be out. I'm gonna snack on the poutine for now. And what did you get? I got the crab ragoon pizza, which I've never heard of crab bean on. Pizza before. Crab ragoon pizza, guys. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm just like tearing it up. It's spectacular. <laughs> guys, so my actual meal has arrived. So this is hot roast with mushroom risotto, and it is so freaking good. takeout and we are now leaving the tipsy toboggan we are leaving a little bit tipsy uh but we'll see you at the lazy boarding house all right guys we just got back from the tipsy toboggan we are back in our room and we're gonna get into some history of the house what actually happened here so we're gonna get into the story of lizzie borden the trial and some of the suspects because today the murder is still unsolved which, which blows my mind you would think with like all the technology that we have today that something like this would be solved yeah but i mean back then like they didn't have any idea about DNA and crime scene, and so they just walked all over that crime scene. And after you hear these stories, you're also going to be questioning who done it because everyone is suspicious as fuck. <laughs> you really don't know who did it. Yeah. Could have been Lizzie, could have been the maid, could have been both, could have been the maid and, and the uncle, could have been the wild eyed man. Man, <laughs> was standing uh, Who the hell knows? Who knows? On August 4th, 1892, an axe murder happened here in Falls River, shocking the entire town. Bridget Sullivan, otherwise known as Maggie, was upstairs resting in her bed after being outside washing windows whenever she heard a cry from downstairs. That cry was from Lizzie Borden. 
Why was she crying? She just found her father dead. Killed with an axe. No face. His brain's hanging out. It was pretty fucking disgusting. I'd be crying too. A neighbor by the name of Adelaide Churchill quickly came over to comfort Lizzie, but made a very disturbing discovery upstairs. As soon as Adelaide got to the top of the stairs, she could see the body of Abby Borden bludgeoned to death by an axe. Which just so happens to be in the room that we are in, right here on the floor. And from this very moment, news spread like wildfire. People were already pointing their fingers at Lizzie Borden saying that she did it. Some of the rumors had claimed that she had a strained relationship with her stepmother and had reportedly been involved in several arguments with her father over money. However, other family members and friends claimed that Lizzie had a really good relationship with her father and loved him. So why would she kill him? Even her mom too, or stepmom. They said that they were very cordial. Or did they lie? Who the hell knows, really? On August 9th, police came and questioned Bridget, John, and Lizzie, the only people staying in the house at the time. And during the four hour interrogation, Lizzie gave kind of contradictory and suspicious responses. In Bridget's questioning, she brought up how Lizzie burned a dress after their deaths. And Lizzie's answer to this was that yes, yeah, she did burn a dress, but she burned it because it had red paint on it. Seems really suspicious to me. And that's exactly what got Lizzie arrested. She was pronounced probably guilty, and they ordered her to face a grand jury, and she pled not guilty. So during the trial, the prosecution's goal was to prove that Lizzie was the only person to be able to do the murder and to have motive to do the murder. But the defense stated that women couldn't be serial killers, and someone of Lizzie's stature and also of her wealthy background, she wouldn't be able to commit murders like this. I could kill someone. Yeah, it was definitely an interesting like take for sure. I feel like they could have gone so many other directions. This video's incriminating now. <laughs> so during this trial, the prosecutioner actually did one of the most vile, disgusting, and wild things that I've ever heard of. He actually brought out the skulls of both Andrew and Abby and showed it to Lizzie. And Lizzie passed the fuck out. I don't blame her. After bringing out these skulls, he then presents the murder weapon, which is an axe without a handle. So one of the most compelling testimonies in the entire trial was that of Alice Russell, in which she shared that Lizzie actually came over to her house the night before the murders and stated that she had a bad feeling. She stated, and I quote, I feel afraid that something bad is going to happen. She wanted to go to sleep with one eye half open for fear that somebody might burn the house down or hurt her father because he was so discourteous to people. What did that mean? Why it seemed like she was, well, so he was like a businessman and did business deals with people. So I wonder if she was trying to like set it up to where if say Make she him was, sound like he's a bad businessman and maybe that's why someone would not kill even, him. Yeah, I guess not even just like a bad businessman, but just like- An asshole? Yes, yes. He might've been an asshole. To me, that sounds like an alibi. Mm -hmm. And the fact that she said it the night before it happened I know a lot of people point fingers and say Lizzie is guilty, Lizzie is guilty, and then there's the people who say she's not guilty, she's not guilty. Personally, as someone who hasn't really looked into the case and now I'm hearing all of this shit on the case, I think she's guilty. <laughs> I don't know though, we're gonna find out. Despite all of the evidence against her, Lizzie was found not guilty. Which blows my mind because nowadays, if Lizzie went to court in 2023, she'd be found guilty and probably put to death sentence. I would also like to say that they did not, and still haven't to this day, even without a technology, found any DNA evidence that Lizzie is guilty. No fingerprints, no Have they anything. looked? Yeah, like even then they, they looked for fingerprints or something and found nothing. There wasn't even a drop of blood on the murder weapon. Maybe it was the cat. fucking ghost cat there's some scary cat stuff remember the game scratch 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 that was making me no think of that. what the hell is that let's play it we should do like i don't know about here or like but i feel like we should do like those like old creepy like games oh god until we actually attract a demon <laughs> So after the trial, shockingly, Lizzie decided to stay in town and only move down the street with her sister. And she lived there until the age of 67 and died. As for the maid Bridget, she ended up moving to Ireland and buying a farm, which 
If she was a maid, she definitely didn't make that much money. How did she afford a whole farm? Where was that money coming from? Where did it come from? Was she paid off? Who knows? And then let's talk about the uncle, John Morse. So John Morse has a very colorful resume. Let me just list off some of the things that he was. After studying civil engineering in Browning, he worked as a surveyor, an engineer, a butcher, a carpenter, a police officer in Fall River, and a draftsman. And also he was a very prominent and controversial political figure. Do you know who John Morse might've actually been reincarnated into? Do you know who Johnny Sins is? Bro. <laughs> Do y'all know who Johnny Sins is? Does that not sound like Johnny Sins? That was his past life. He was a man of everything. <laughs> so why am I bringing up John Morris, AKA Johnny Sins? Well, why was he in town all of a sudden when they died? Cause he, he wasn't around like that. He just came into town and then that morning he wasn't here. He was out running errands. He also has a possible motive. What's his motive? He was angry that his sister, which was Lizzie's mother, um, was left out of the will. And that money would have gone to him. Mm, well, it wasn't going to him either way. <laughs> what? Well, I think like back in those times, like if someone had died, but you have like relatives, like that money would then go to them. But he didn't get no money. He didn't get no money. No, and it's also said that he like fell under like a super, super great like depression like he wanted to die yeah post post crime however that could be either he was really sad his brother died the way that they died or he was guilty he felt so guilty i also just thinking about it right now too like he might have been depressed because he ended up not getting the money that he thought he was going to get after all this effort literally who knows there's so many different ways yeah. that this case could have gone and nobody knows the real answer no one really knows what happened here and so that's what we're hoping to get tonight we are hoping to get answers i want to know what happened here i'm very curious i'm very intrigued and let's figure this out let's, let's crack the code Let's solve this unsolved murder. All right, so with all of that being said, guys, we are going to get into it. This is the Lizzie Borden House investigation. So we are about to go downstairs and start our investigation. Do not mind my newly pimple patches. Had a big pimple. <laughs> Um, you are going to see some other people in the video. They are guests who are either staying here or they paid to do the little ghost hunt tonight. Um, we are not staying up past 12 to ghost hunt without them in the house. That's too late. I'm so tired. I drove six hours to get here. So we're going we're gonna to ghost hunt with them, even though we didn't pay for it. Lizzie, tell them what the tour guide told you outside. Oh, he said that whenever he was staying one night in the John Morse room, that camera over there ended up being closer to the bed later on that night than it was supposed to be over there. Which makes my Johnny Sin story make more sense. That's his filming camera. That's why it's in the John Morse room. It's Johnny. All right, guys, so to start off the investigation, I decided to put my music box, my REM pod, and my other stuff down here in the dining room. So let's see what we got. It's definitely a fuse in one of these rooms. This is the room where Abby was um, autopsied on the day of the murders. On the table? No, no, probably on, on one uh, of those mobile autopsy tables. Oh my god. Times. I'm so sorry, can you say that again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let us know. Let yes, us that's know. a mobile, uh, that's an autopsy table from Victorian times, and Abby is, uh, was autopsied on that, uh, in this room, and, and Andrew in the other room. I don't know we're getting such a, it, bad vibes in here yeah. earlier. This was for us, like, we did not like this room. was the worst room for yeah. us. I didn't um, like it at all. A second. There's some things I've read about Lizzie um, involving, um, well, on the day of the murder, people make note that she doesn't seem to be emotionally. That's why the music box went off. Draw it. Um, Something passed a second ago. Yeah. yeah. They 
Thank you. If you're here, can you please step away from the REM pod? Thank you. That's why that went off on that side too. It hasn't been going off. If it's us talking about Lizzie in here, maybe you're the uncle. Oh, Maybe who can you can you let go? Can you let go, please? Let go. Are you? Thank you. Can you can you let go? I want you to, yeah, I want you to touch it for yes, okay? Can you show me a yes? Make it go off for a yes. So if I ask you a question and the answer is yes, you want to say yes, you'll, you do this. Okay. Can you do that to show me a yes? Can you show me a yes, please? Say I can. I can. I can. Where'd you go? Okay, Will you come back into the room? And maybe if we keep talking and you keep kind of sharing what you were saying about the case, maybe that was like a, like a trigger word. Maybe. Who is here with us? Can you can you please let us know by touching the REM pod for yes? Look, come up here and touch this for a yes. Yes, that's a yes. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna ask. Is this Andrew? I understand. You probably hate having people talk to you. Does say men? Yeah. You probably hate having people talk to you. And I get that. I'm I'm maxed. Yeah. You already know how I feel. Is this you? Is this Andrew? Andrew, I know you probably hate people coming into your house. Um, understandable. Which is completely understandable. Um, and we won't force you to communicate with us, but if there is any kind us. of truth to your story that you wanted to share... Maybe he doesn't know. Why would he know who did it? He was on the couch sleeping. He was, yeah, he was resting. You, he probably doesn't know. Andrew, is this you? Can you come and touch the red light? I mean, if he was having a... Come and touch this light. Is this Andrew? Are you in here? It almost needs like a trigger object or something. I'm thinking like like cigars or like something that would like... Do you want, do you want us to get you a cigar? Do you want a cigar? Do you want a cigarette? Do you want us to leave? <laughs> Setting up the music box in the living room, this area, and we're gonna head over there by uh, the couch where Andrew died. Um, really? Maybe I should put it closer to the dress or something? I'm not sure. Okay, that's odd. Move up. Go over there. Go over there in the corner. Which corner? Like back up. Oh. Look! That. Did you not hear that? No. My music won't. box is in there. And now look at this. Thank you. That's why it was right. This has gotta be Andrew. Friar. Is this Andrew? Can you come press? Can you come up close to the red light if this is Andrew? I would want to look at that. Yeah, we were talking to say earlier. Andrew, is that you? Who? Where are you at? Are you in there? Do you want to come back into this room? I don't know. Where's he at? Can you come in this room and touch these? If you'd like to, you can come back in here. We would love to ask you some questions. Why are they in there? That's so odd. What happened in that room? The funeral service. The funeral service. In the house. Yeah. yeah that's that's crazy. Happened, like, within here. Are you that's just are you standing there in the doorway? Someone just died on it. That's kind of funny. You know? Yeah, especially if it was like your father. Well, yeah, that's a little stuffing, little brain cleaner. Who is it? I don't know. Oh my god. Wait, who had it repo Emma, Emma is the other sister. Yeah, the older sister. So sister. Emma and John are both freaks because John slept in the room and Emma kept the couch. Yeah. But when they move out of the house, they didn't. They put all the furniture in storage. Hmm. I'd still throw that away. That's so weird. Yeah. yeah I so, just find or, that or at least, so like, sell it. To, like, if you're going to upholster no, it, sell it to someone else. No. Or like, you don't sell a couch but, where but your dad like, got murdered. But, like, 
But I would consider that before keeping it, you know? Well, the joke is that she asked her father if she should throw it away, and he said, not over my dead body. Oh, boy. He liked that! He liked yeah. your joke! Oh, okay, Andrew. Yeah. Only good. Did you like that joke? Yes! <laughs> Both of them. Oh my gosh. Okay, you you like jokes? I don't got any jokes. He likes jokes! Whoa! And the music box. Ah. Uh, uh, are you sick of being asked, like, who killed you? You don't fucking know, do you? You were asleep. Why would you know? Right? Is that it? Like, do you just want to tell jokes? I got, you got a, you got a dad joke to tell him. We need to tell him dad jokes. That's what he likes. All right, we're gonna look up dad jokes. He clearly likes humor. Um, okay. Yes. yes want he wants dad jokes. I fucking knew it. All right, I got you jokes. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. He's probably, like, thinking about it. He's probably so sick of being asked about the case. He's probably like, I don't know. Like, I have no idea. Like, why do people come in and he's like asking me about this if I have no idea? I'd be so mad it's if I was like, saying, that's why he's angry. Like, he's like I totally understand him. They're like switching it up. They're asking me a joke. For the, like, yeah. Let's see. Dad jokes. <laughs> what's green and, what's green and dangerous a frog with a gatling gun did you like that you like that one i think you liked it what do you call a fish wearing a bow tie sophisticated sophisticated Oh, oh. <laughs> did you hear that, Andrew? Yeah. Two guys walked into a bar. The one should have known better. Do you get it? I usually have to explain it, so it's not like that's a joke. He doesn't like he that one. He likes the green I thought that one was hilarious. I wasn't expecting it. What's, what's green and dangerous? A frog with a Gatlin gun. <laughs> <laughs> Did you flip a switch? No. No. Okay. Is that on a timer then, maybe? We gotta ask it. that guy. That's really no, odd. It would be weird if it- Where'd he go? If it was that like 10.51. Aw. Oh, that's odd. Did you turn the light on? He turned the light on! Was that you? You think it's too dark in here? Look. Kind of thought, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We agree. We agree. agree. We like the light. Light? Yeah, yeah. We like- yeah. We like, um- Mood. We like the mood. Do you want? Do you like red? Oh, it looks like he was kind of setting the mood for us. Are you setting the mood? It How about nice, like, mm, green? Do you like green? Okay. What is your favorite color, Mr. Borden? Can you tell me your favorite color by making it go off when the light's your favorite color? Is green your favorite color? If green's not your favorite color, just don't touch it. I'm gonna change it, ready? This color, blue. Do you like blue? Is blue your favorite color? Blue, do you see it? I think, I think I like this color blue a lot. Okay. How about dark blue? Dark blue? I love asking them their favorite color. What about, what's that, the one that comes next? Purple? Purple, pink. Are you a pink boy? Do you like pink? There's no shame in liking pink and being a man. He definitely doesn't like pink. Do you like white? Do you just like the all white? Do you not have a favorite color? Do you like rainbow? Are you an ally? <laughs> That's him. <laughs> ally. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. Red? Do you like red? Red's a good color. Yeah. Mm. 
Do you, do you turn it on and off? It's him. He likes his light. That's what we were asking him. He likes the light. He did this the last time. We were like, did you turn on the light? And he did and this. And it was like going off. Okay, so like it was him? you. Maybe okay. you're just like trying to make it look nice in your house. Like get it set up. Yeah, because that light used to be in Andrew's bedroom. And uh, no way. every okay. tour guide here is. I want to prove a point um, that this is not close enough. experience where like the first time I did a ghost hunt, there was nobody staying in the house. And so we went through the whole house from top to bottom. Whoa. And uh, yeah, watch. checking See? out each room and turning They are not off close enough to set each other off. I think it's his, it's his light. He likes it. Uh, or it turns itself down when it wants. What? Oh my gosh, it's going down. Let me like turn this off too so you guys can see and like watch it. Yeah, let me get out I don't even know if my camera's picking it up. The light is dimming. It, yeah, it's getting even like dimmer from here. No, I think he did. He's set in the mood again, right? You set in the mood? Or are you just showing us that you know how to work the light? That's pretty impressive. Yeah, I'm impressed, honestly. Uh, it's gone! It's Whoa. gone! <laughs> I'm impressed! What about, oh my can, you turn, gosh. can you turn it back on again? I just saw something. Oh, dear God, please. That way. I just saw something like run across that way. Oh, no, 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 no. Did no, I get that no, on camera? No. I hope I got that on camera. I'm gonna throw up. I don't like seeing things. Can you turn that light back on? Yeah. One last time. Do we the party trick. Like, yeah, we know that's your favorite light. Could you put that on again for us? Party trick one last time. I think you're a chill guy. I think you're I yeah. don't think you're an angry dude. I think you just get annoyed at idiots. Is that worth the truth? Just get annoyed at all, all I these stupid I, people? I would honestly I would. I would be annoyed if, if people were coming in asking me like who done it 24 7. I'd get mad for the as past, fuck. like Century. I totally understand him. Yeah. I would also be mad if I had a cardboard cut out of my head. Yeah. And I died. Yeah. We understand you. I just want to put that out there. Yeah. We we get it. However, turn that light on one more time. Please. It's Let's it's see. good. It's do it for the content. You know what? Take your time, man. Maybe it's hard. Is it hard to turn the light on? Can are these easier to turn on? If, if these are easier to make go off, can you come over here and touch this? Is the light easier or, or are these things, are the beepy things easier? I wonder who we're talking to. I feel it's him. I think it's him. I feel him very, I, yeah. I feel, feel him. so masculine in here. Yes. Yeah. I feel the testosterone. I feel it everywhere. Yeah. I feel... I just feel him very present yeah. in the house. And definitely, like, him. I, I, I think it's him. He's definitely still. Because of what happened. Yeah, happened you know that's what a lot of people think happened at the Villisca axe murder house there's something evil there now because of all the trauma that happened there i don't feel it though andrew is there is there something negative in the house with you can you make the red light go off these lights next to me. Is there something negative here? I think it's like the um, like the idea of like the, the crazy eyed man being like running up and down the street. Like I wonder if there's something like if we put a rim pot outside, if something would activate or go off. Let's do it. Because rim I'm, like, pot outside. Stuff out there. Let's so we're gonna go outside and see if this goes off. Gonna... I'm curious if someone's in here really quick. Yeah. Before we go outside, I'm just curious if there's someone in this room. We keep getting a lot of interaction in here, so let's just like... With the music box. Yeah. Is there someone in here? Which is... Yes. yes. That was very direct. 
Um, so we know that this is the place where the funeral was held. Can you come closer to the back? The, can you come closer to that box if that's true? Can you make it play music if you were here at the funeral? Still here? Can you make this go we're beep? Gonna, we're gonna put you under too much pressure. That was you. Sorry. No, no that was not you. Sorry about putting you under too much pressure. I feel like I just feel like they're like sick of of talking about the same old thing. Yeah. I would too. Like what? Hey, I we don't like, want to talk about that. We yeah. just. I just watched something like. What? Go. Like. I saw your face. I went. That's, I swear that's what I saw earlier. Was it like a shimmer or something? Yeah. Yes. I just watched a watched shimmer go, shimmer go brrr, up a, through that room. And I just saw it right in front of me. That Are you weird. a sparkly vampire? <laughs> no, not a sparkly vampire. Um, um, that's, I've never seen anything like that investigated before. I do see sparkles. Really? I yeah, it's like a sparkles. bright. It's like a bright. Not even sparkles, but sometimes it's just like like a shot of electricity, like a beep. Like yes. like you know when you get electrocuted, yes. like or that's what I but see it like, like a lot. But it goes across the room. I was like, yeah. I never saw that. I see it like like it would pop up in random spots. Like yeah, that's really odd. Okay. I see that in my own house. That's wild. All right, so we're not getting anything. So we're gonna take this outside. We're gonna see if they're outside. We're gonna see if the crazy man stalks the house. Yeah. Great. Right. We're outside now. Let's see. Look at that fucking light. Dude, ominous. That is so ominous. We have a light just going off. And that's the spirit of the wild eyed man down there. Is there someone out here? Do you lurk outside the house? There's someone that watches outside the house. Are you the wild-eyed man? Yeah, is there something outside this house that watches it? Um, is there a demon here? Some replay of someone that was standing outside. Could you imagine we look up into our room and there's something there? I don't think anyone's out here. No way. Dude, There's no way. It was right after that, too. There's no way. Stop. No. That hasn't went off at all. But I feel like there might be something like, and it's hard to explain, and like, let me know in the comments if you guys like understand what I'm saying, because I've never felt this way before, but it almost feels like, like there's something in the walls. And I don't know how to like describe that, but I feel like Haley said it so perfectly. So I was saying that it's not an entity that she's feeling. She's just feeling residual. But that that's not residual. That's residual, not residual. Residual energy is not intelligent. Why is that going off now? Can you step away if you, wait. Step away for a second. Step that's... away. I have a question for you. I know that's a really cool and fun, fun light. I was just about to ask it to make the door go off and the door went off. Look, if you are the guy that's, that used to stand outside or who the neighbors saw, can you get closer? Why are you here? Can you back away from the rim pod? Is your name William Borden? Is William Borden here? Is the son of, of Andrew Borden here with us? Who's outside? <laughs> Is this is this Andrew? Did you come outside because you like us the most? Andrew, is this you? You know they can come outside, right? Yeah. Someone came. Out. Maybe the kids like us. Yeah. Who know? Are you are you a little kid? Or is this you a baby? Or is John this the Morse? cat? Where's are you John? a kitty cat? It's a fucking cat. <laughs> no, it's not. It's the walls. The walls came outside to talk. No, what is so weird, guys, is me and Lizzie, I wasn't recording because nothing was happening. 
and Lizzie starts talking about the walls are evil. Followers. They're gonna be like, why'd you bring this hoe that's just talking about the walls she's, being alive? She's like, the walls, the walls are alive. And then the door starts going off and then the REM pod starts, starts going off. So like, is it the walls? Are you an evil wall entity? Or are you a kitty cat? Please, I wanna talk to a cat. Kitty cat? Is it a cat? Are you a cat? What if he's just like walking up to it? You know how like cats like rub on things? Kitty? That's so crazy. Why is this going off out here? This is going off more out here than in there. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I said, what is there outside? That's really weird. Dude. Maybe you have some sort of intuition. You said Oh, I definitely outside. do, but I don't think... So I feel like I can feel things and pick up on things and feel ail ailments and like get senses for things. But I think that you are specifically told stuff. Like I definitely think like we both have stuff, but it's different. I don't know what I'm told. I think. So I wasn't filming this. I, I do you? think, I, I think you're right. I do think I'm like told yes. specific things. The REM pod's going off again. Um, When we first started, I wasn't recording. This is when we first walked into the house. I got really, really angry. Yeah. really angry and annoyed and i really feel like i was feeling andrew borden's feelings that man is so sick of people asking him who killed him yeah. because why would he know right. why the hell would he know right. like he was asleep he was asleep you guys everyone and I, i'm saying oh, you guys what, is that? what, is that? what? Oh, oh my god it's an omen oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my gosh oh my god never oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking omen! Lizzie, it almost got me! Dude, okay. Why was it crawling towards the REM pod? I don't know. <sighs> Anyways, that's why he's an angry spirit. He is so sick of being asked the same thing over and over and over again. And I felt his anger. Not only that, but like some of the things they do here are pretty disrespectful to like the case. So I'm not going to talk too much about that because defamation. But that's why he's bad. He's mad because no one's coming in here and like talking to him like he's a normal person you keep talking to him like he's a dead guy yeah he's a dead guy but like if he's gonna be here for eternity give the man a dad joke he fucking loves it okay bring him a cigar stop asking him who killed him tell him a dad joke ask him his favorite color maybe he has a favorite food maybe play poker with him i don't know something just stop asking who killed him because he clearly doesn't know why would you know i'd be so mad if i was dead and people kept asking me who killed you coming into my house new people every single day and i'm just trying to take a fucking nap on the couch where i died <laughs> that's my rant that scared me why did that thing just come out of nowhere Dude, i don't know i wonder who's who's out here with us is this andrew andrew are you out here the door's going off again if this is Andrew, did you come outside with us? Can you make this go off? I don't know who it is, to be honest. Lizzie okay, thinks it's the walls. She also has to fart. It was silent. Oh God, but the wind's blowing towards me. Oh, he Sorry, liked that. <laughs> the ghost. He didn't like that. He feels some type of, maybe he likes farts. Do you like farts? Yes. <laughs> Is it not polite to fart or make well, fart noises? Well, if I got a bug on me, it's just an omen. Well, that was like a like I, that was a scary bug. That was that like was your a very scary bug. bug. Yeah, I know you're right. I might have to set you on fire if it crawls on you. I think it's really odd that we're getting this much activity. Yeah, outside. Outside of the house. Are you? Are you the person they call the wild-eyed man? Are you the wild-eyed man? Are you the walls? Are you the evil entity in the house or the evil entity that lurks outside the house because the house has too much bad energy? Is that you? <gasps> Shut up! I can't believe that. No. You're... So it's not a cat. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> no! <laughs> I wanted it to be a cat. I know, I wanted it to be a cat too. Thank you for letting yourself be known though and for sharing who you were with us. Do you mean harm? Do you want to harm the people in the house? I asked if you were evil and you said yeah. Like I don't know if you're just like messing around like being like <laughs> yeah or like So do you want to know what's really, what's really odd? Inside of the house, she had a feeling, like we're both sensitive, but in different ways. She had a feeling yeah. that there was something not so nice outside of the house. Yeah. The basement but... room uh, used to be used as a Ouija's uh, uh, board seance room. Oh, and the so there could owners, be anything here. So the previous owners uh, not only held Ouija board seances, but would allow the guests to use the Ouija board. So my guess is the number of people who used it without knowing that you have to close doors later. I think there's a portal uh, here. Well, there's been a lot of reports of a shadowy thing in the basement. Point. I saw yeah. the Ouija board that was in the gift shop. What is that That from? was the one that they used, the previous owners used. Oh. And the story behind it that at first I thought it was just tell the new guy the story. But I've heard this, uh, people have heard this through other sources. Uh, the story is that the- It keeps like confirming too, like as you're talking, which the is The Ouija board got stolen uh, once. Some overnight guest took it. It arrived a few weeks later anonymously in the mail with a note attached that said, make it stop. What? And so now we just keep it in that case and the current owner doesn't allow Ouija boards in the house. And if people ask me why, I ask them to name me a movie with a Ouija board in it that ends well. Yeah. So, I, so I have the... a question. Okay. It's not allowed in the house, right? The Ouija boards? Yeah. yeah. Is it allowed in the parking lot? If I don't see it, I don't. You know, if you want to do it in the... In the uh, I don't want to get you in trouble. Like in the car, but... Yeah, yeah we just asked... No, 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 I don't house. have one. Oh, I don't okay. want to see the one that you have. <laughs> oh, no, no. I, he I, wants I, me to, too. <laughs> he's yeah, like, no, yeah. yeah. He's like, bring it up. out of the case. No. No, 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 no. I, that would be Can a we go film it real quick? Not take it out? Can you what? Like, film it? Like, we didn't get a picture of it or anything. Oh, yeah, sure. All right, so we are being taken to the gift shop where the Ouija board is that may have brought the evil thing that may or may not be outside i brought a rem pod to see if like maybe it's out here i have a feeling it wants us to touch it but we're not allowed so this is the gift shop and this is the ouija board that they used to use oh my god i knew that was gonna go off so it wasn't i wasn't filming but I was waiting for this room yeah, to yeah, I was very That's so um, crazy. Oh my God, I, I wasn't recording because nothing was I, I going on. Either. We were just talking <laughs> and I'm I'm just sitting here. We, we stopped talking and I sit here and I go, where's the thing that wanted us to come to the Ouija board? And the fucking rem card goes. Doo -doo -doo. That was crazy. So, Are you still here? Is there anything here that, wanna, that wants to talk to us? Are you the Ouija dude? Ouija dude. I know you're here, you just talked to me. Can you make a wee wee wee? Are you attached to the Ouija board? Why are you why do you want us in here? Do you do you want the Ouija board? <coughs> do you want people to use the Ouija board again? Where the hell did you go? Oh my god. Send no cameras, please. <laughs> Come on, you like the camera. We came all the way over here to this room to talk to you. We're not even in the house. I don't even think you're supposed to be here. I don't think you're supposed to be here at all. We're talking to you instead of them. Like, okay, well, I'll film your board. Here it is. I'll get your B-roll for you. There's your board. Is, does that make you happy? That we're talking to the board? That's really Very odd. Very strange. All right, we're leaving. Guys, the light. The light. Turn it off. You got it, Andrew. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn the light off. Come on. He just dimmed it. Turn it off, man. Come on. Turn it off. He loves this light. I think that is so funny of you to love a light, Andrew. 
He loves it! He loves it! <laughs> I fucking told you he loves it. Andrew, touch this! Touch the Rembog! Andrew. The light turned on. I love this light. So we're gonna go to the basement while we have time to go to the basement because once this little ghost hunt ends, we're not allowed there, but we are allowed down here on the first floor and our room, which we still haven't investigated, funny enough. So we'll investigate that at the end where, she, where Abby got. <laughs> um, but for now, let's go to the basement where the evil thing supposedly lives. Hello? Who's down here? Ouija board sessions happened. Is this is this my Ouija man? Are you down here? Is that where you wanted us to go? Is this where you were summoned? I'm actually a little spooked being down here. Is there someone down here with me? Can you show me? Are you the Ouija board guy? Did you want to? Did you want us to come here? You wanted us down here, not not out in the gift shop. You wanted us here. Is that what you wanted? Is there someone down here with us? Yes. No. The 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 demon. Um, There's definitely someone stepping over there. Do you not hear that? Oh yeah, it's him. He's down here. He's chilling. Um. This is where they wanted us to go. This is what they wanted. When they, when we said Ouija, this is where they were summoned. This table in the basement, not Shut in the gift up. shop. They want us to I just asked if they were here. Do there's you? Something behind, there's something in that other room. Are you in the They're other like, room? I'm I'm like hearing actual physical footsteps in there. You over here? Like I, I I walked in and I was like, is there not someone else in here with you? Because it was footsteps. I think you were hearing that. Maybe. It sounded like it was right there, though. Is there someone in this room? It's crazy, because I, I walked so down exactly. here. I walked down here, and I had a really, really bad vibe. And then I rest when I realized that's the table. And then I put it down on the table, and I was like, Are you Ouija Man? <laughs> it yeah. went off. That's why I told you there is someone okay, down here I with guess us. Maybe it'll go off once we're all sitting at the table. Are you down here with us? Is this what you wanted? Can you, can you set this off, this thing in front of me? Can you touch it to let me know? Is this where you wanted us to go? <laughs> I'm like really unsettled. No, this is here. weird. No, 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 I keep like, I keep I like. There's some stuff back there. I feel like there's something in here with us too, but I keep like hearing something. I saw it's something when I walked there. down the stairs, it was creepy. But like, I didn't see something. Like it was like energy just so, on. And I don't know if I like really got it on camera earlier, but you said you heard something whenever everybody was kind of preoccupied by the investigation. Yes, I did. I heard it was like a growl, actually. Like I feel like a growl could be so many different things. Is it like a like a kitty cat growl? No. Like a, or like, like a growl. Not like a, good. Like a growl. It was pretty spooky. Are you the grudge? I'm going to the, the Stanley so I can do like the red bra. Where are you at? Because I'm the guy that was obsessed with Ouija would be obsessed with that. I should have some support in my That'd be fucking creepy. You just see like an eye. Hell no, I'm leaving. I'm not sleeping here. I would leave. I Good feel like tingles up my spine right now. Are you touching Lizzie? Did you touch her? So odd. I was down here alone and it, it did it. Do you not like me? I can leave. 
You know, I'll walk away. Huh? Leave and see if it goes off. Let's see. I'm so scared. Do you want me alone? that wants to talk to us or wants to like further communication with us we're gonna be upstairs in our room the John Moore suite um, oh, just upstairs right there yeah or just yeah just upstairs, upstairs in the living room so if you'd like to communicate with us just come right up there all right guys so everyone else either left or they went up to their rooms so what we're gonna do is we are going to do an Estes method right here in the room where Andrew Borden died I I don't know what it is, but I personally just feel really connected to Andrew. I feel like I understand him. I understand why he's angry, why he's annoyed. He's just like, shut the fuck up. So we're just going to talk to him. See, see what he wants to talk about. We don't have to talk about how he died because he definitely doesn't know. I'm not asking. Don't ask him how he died. Yeah. Not how. We all know how and he knows how. There's axes everywhere. He knows. He knows. He knows. Um, but we're not gonna ask him who, because once again, stop asking him. Why the fuck would he know? Unless, unless maybe the afterlife, like, like you get like some sort of like, I don't know. I don't know. Does he know? Do you think like when you die, like you just no? because that's probably why he's still here. He's probably wondering why he's went for someone to solve the fucking case. Like who the fuck killed me? And maybe, I don't think spirits have like a concept of time either. So like, he probably doesn't even realize how long he's been here. So we're gonna go under. Ooh, I like that color. Oh, blue? Okay, so she's gonna go ahead and go under. We're just here out of like, out of love and respect. And we just wanted to see if there was anything that we could do in terms of talking to you, um, we just wanted to say hi. Like, we don't even have to talk about... What? We just want to say hi. We, you know, we don't even have to talk about anything in that there. happened here. What happened? In where? Are you standing somewhere else in here? Go. You want us to leave? Now. Do you want us to leave? Only you. Just me. Do you want Kaylee to stay here? Only one? Only one of us? Which one of us do you want? I don't like the sound of that. Please. Please? Okay. Can you tell me which one of us you want to leave? I'm close. My name's Lizzie, and her name's Kaylee. No. Which one? No, you can't tell us which one? You just want us to pick? Go down. Go down where? Can you tell us where you want us to go? I swear Playing. I go down. One. Playing what? Do you want us... Is Does this have something to do with the Ouija board? If this has something to do with the Ouija board. Don't go. Don't go. Is this someone else? What is going on? Down. Don't go down. I thought you just said you wanted us to go down. They are down. Who's down there? Who's down there? That's right. Is there something down in the basement that we should be aware of? What's Very down in- interesting. What's in the basement? Oh yeah. Oh. Maybe that was a delayed question to like, is there something in the basement that we should be aware of? Oh yeah. Come out. Come out. 
do you want to come out and show yourself? I promise, like, I mean, if you want to show yourself no. as an apparition, we won't be scared. It wants us to go down to the basement, is what it's saying. We come can't on. do that. With whatever you have to say to us, can you say to, to us up here? You know. I don't know. Can you explain it to me? Calm down. I am in here. Do you? Which room? Can you share which room you're in? You. Me. Be gone. The light just went down in there. I don't know if I caught it on Katie's camera. Back door. Back door. Back. Please don't go. You seem to be having some mixed emotions with us. Help me out. What do you... Of what? Uh, I'm wet. <laughs> door. What's at the back door? Should we go to the back door? You want to be let in? Don't go. Don't go. There. Dude, it sounds like there's two different things arguing with each other. You look. Take it. What is down? That I hear noises coming from the back door now. What in the world? I heard him. What did he say? Who is him? Go ahead. Go get it. Is it the Ouija board that you want us to get? What? 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 Is it telling us to get the Ouija I knew that's who we were talking to. Mm -hmm. I almost have tears coming out of my mm -hmm. eyes and I don't oh, know, why. I don't oh, know yeah. what I'm feeling right now. Oh yeah. Oh no. But it's... then it's, there's someone else too. That's... I'll kill. Both. Kill both. Again? Again? That happened last time. Did you follow us from Letchworth? Yeah. You're joking. You're joking. Yeah, yes. the <gasps> clearest, yeah. Dude. Oh boy. I'm fucking crying. I'm crying. I don't know, I'm crying too and I don't know what you're saying. <gasps> Bullet, pull it. Don't run. Can you tell me why you followed us from Letchworth? You fell I'm here. You're here. You followed us from Letchworth, and you wanted to be let out through the Ouija board. Around here. Around here. Or are you the person that's in the walls? I can't tell. Something you are. You are. This is... this is crazy. I'm here. You're here. Is there some- is there some kind of message that you have for us other than letting you out through the Ouija board? That sounded like it said like Your mom. Oh. <laughs> is there something about one of our moms? Or any kind of message? Do a flip! <gasps> no way! Do, do a flip! Do a flip! <laughs> Oh my fucking god, Lizzie! It said it again. It said do a flip. Do a flip. He wants to do some tricks. Xbox. Out? What is coming through? Do we what have a memer? The kids. Are you one of the kids? 
Have you kind of like learned about some of the, maybe some of the new stuff? Okay, hang on, I have to stop. Did we have something follow us? Number one, that's why it's outside. That's why I'm crying. Mm -hmm. Number two, I can... why does it like memes? For, first of all, I don't think the thing that likes memes is what followed us, but I think that might Did be- Did you get confirmation that something followed us? 100%. <laughs> That's why I've been crying. I can't wait for you to watch this. Where? Because, dude. Letchworth. Mm -hmm. I asked at Letchworth, and that was right before you said that that was the clearest yeah you've ever had. I said yeah twice. I have full body chills. Yeah. Oh, I- yeah. I'm fully tearing up. I'm fully tearing up, and it wants to be let out through the Ouija board. What the fuck? Yeah. I wonder who it attached to. You are me. Point fingers at you. I'm I, point I fingers don't... at you, bitch. <gasps> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm actually really curious. Let's ask it with like Let's the go. REM pod. Hang on. Listen. If you really did attach to one it of us. It was so weird too. I can't wait for you to watch this back because it was I'm like every cry. time it said something about the back door, there was almost like scratching back there. Um, did you follow me and Lizzie from Letchworth? Can you? I'm gonna fucking kill myself. No, it's a, it's a, we're on. It just followed us from Letchworth. Who did you, did you follow Lizzie? Did you follow Lizzie? Did you follow Cameron? Did you follow me? Are you following me? Tell me. It's so weird. <sighs> Did you follow us from Letchworth? Are you from Letchworth? You were not as soon as I heard through the through the box, I heard what did I hear? What did it say that, that I knew? What did it say? It said something that it said in Letchworth. And I was like, it said that at Letchworth. What did it say? It said it wanted to kill us both. Yeah, oh, oh, in my when we were there. Yeah. It said it here, though. It said it here, too. That's why I asked Letchworth. Do you want to... Wait, 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 wait. Do you want to know how I've been feeling, actually, after we did that? I never really thought about it, but I've been feeling, like, something around me. In my house. But like a week ago after I went to the stone line and I felt weird after that. And I don't usually feel weird after. No, 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 because look, I always say no, something definitely can't can't come home with me. But like lately I've been I even talk to my boyfriend because he always says like stuff, but I think it's because like he's like, you know, not like me, like I'm like used to it. He's like he gets sketched out because he's like, but if something does follow her home, you know? But me, I'm not sketched out and I've been you know what's crazy? It happened when I was editing Letchworth. When I was editing Letchworth, I saw something out of the corner of my eye, and I was like, maybe that's my dog, but it was too tall to be my dog. And you know how we've been talking about, I don't know if I have this on camera, but me and Lizzie have been talking about how sometimes you just see sparks of energy. Like, you know when you plug in a plug and it shocks? Sometimes when you're at these haunted places, you can see these just sparks of energy in the air. I see them all the time in my house. No, and it's weird that you said that because I told you I'd never even seen that before until here, until today. So maybe that's how it's presenting itself. I want to throw the fuck up. Where are you? I don't- do you, is it bad? It wants to kill us. That's bad. It is negative, but I don't necessarily- which I know you don't really believe in demons, but I don't get the feeling that it's demonic kind of thing. Oh, I don't think it's a demon. No. Well, actually- so here's my thing. I believe if something can attach to you, I don't think it's at that point. They're scary. Attachments are scary. I don't think they're humans. I don't think human spirits can do that. And the only time I've ever met, the only time I've ever heard of attachments, they're evil. And I've met, I've met my friend's attachment, Ethan. He's in my videos. Go watch his videos. He has an attachment. That thing is evil. It's pure evil. It is mean. It punched me in the gut. I felt that. So ridiculous. I don't, but where, where is it now? Where is it now that... Well, if you followed us here from anywhere or if you're just messing with us and you're what we saw outside, 
you can't follow us, you can't come with us, you don't have any control over us or any power over us. I'm also not um, scared of you. Yeah. And I mean, it's a little spooky, but I, I will literally get the fuck over it in a day and you, yeah. won't, you won't bother me whatsoever. Like, we'll become pals and I will literally force you to watch me fucking play with rocks at my house. So, you definitely don't want to come home with me. And Lizzie, oh my god, all this bitch does is makeup. Do you like makeup? Oh my god, watch. It's a, it's a beauty guru. Are you a demon beauty guru? I'd shit myself if that went off. Where did it go? I don't know. That was a know. very intense but Estes. But I'm like low-key like ready. I'm like ready to like... <laughs> Cut it. Low-key. I want to know what it is. I would be interested to see what happens to us whenever we're in Salem. Does it come, does it follow us over there? Does it come through again? Is it just something that was messing with us here? That's what I'm kind of interested in. Like, I definitely feel like the story is like not over yet, but I feel with whatever was coming through and interacting with us just then, whether it's from here or whether it's from Wedgeworth, I like don't have like any interest in talking to it anymore. I want you to know one. I want to talk to you. I don't think I can. I don't feel like to be a conduit for that thing. Is it because of what I just said? Yes. No. That's fine. I'll go back on there. Okay. I want to see oh, what so else comes through with it. Okay. I want to see because if the same say, stuff comes through. It's funny that like I was like saying such to the camera that you were saying it later because I do think that there was something positive that was trying to come through maybe from the Gordon family. That's what I felt. I yes. felt that's why I had to say that. I feel and there's multiple. And it feels like they're scared of them or whatever's here. If it didn't follow us from Ledgeworth, like whatever's here, they're scared of it. Because it was like, it was like, come to the back door. No, don't go to the back door. Come down to the basement. No, don't go to the basement. Like it's, it's like back door, basement, back door, basement. That's all I kept hearing. Back and something kept going through and was like, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it. Go, come on. Yeah. Like, it's very odd when stuff like that happens. Yeah. Okay, one more time. One more time. One more time. Yeah. I think whatever's here, we don't want to talk to you. We really want to talk to someone in the Borden family and help get out any message that they have. Please. Come again. Yeah, we would love to come to your house again. We really enjoyed being here. Like, thank you for letting us stay here. We really appreciate Every it. Every... Demon. Demon. There it is. Is that what you are? Or is that what the Bordens think you are? You better. What are you? Couch. Couch? Go leave. I keep hearing leave. Go leave. Just leave. Lots of leaves. Okay. Can you tell us what you are? Why would you leave? Mm. There's a leave. lot of back and forth. Go. I even heard that leave. I even heard that through this. And you know it. I, I Who told is this? You. Me. Who are you? Can you give yourself a name, please? Sorry. Don't leave. No need to be sorry. Who are you? We really just want to know who you are. Behind you. Where are you? Oh, I just felt my shoulder get really hot. Look back. Where are you? Out. Out where? There. Where? Behind you. Where are you? The so window. Is there out there? Is there anything you have for us before we go? Fuck them. Who? Down below. Down below. I. I play. 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 Come. Downstairs. I'm ready. What? 
For what? You ready? I'm not ready. I am. I'm not ready. I am. What do you want? Are you okay? She doesn't look okay to me. What do you want? I think it's gone. Dude. It like, the energy in here like cleared up and now like nothing is coming through. It got like really intense for a second and then whatever was in here just like, Left. just dispersed. And it wasn't getting much mm -mm. And do you want to know, I'll, there's actually a lot of things coming through that I can't like, like understand. No, but there's a well, lot. They like, also said like this was a very popular like Portuguese area, so I wonder if there's like maybe people it's that... It's not that, it's, okay. it's, it's a certain voice that keeps coming through that I can't, you can't understand. I can't understand it. But it's, it's English. Okay. I can understand that, but I can't understand, like, I can't put together, it's saying full-blown sentences is what's weird, and I can't, I can't comprehend like, it. Yeah. Because I can't keep my eyes closed. I can't, like, so normally what I do when I do Estes is, is I, Estes, when I do the Estes, I literally, like, I go into a trance, but I can't yeah. do that here. I'm scared, too. Yeah. Okay, let me tell me to do that. All right, guys, so we're going to go upstairs, and what, are we going to investigate? Okay. No, 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 no. I don't like it. I just that freaked me the fuck out. Wait. Let go. That was after I talked to my man right for Let go. Can you back away from that, please? Let go, let go. Please let go. Let go of it. Can you back away? Let go. Thank you. I have a question. Um, are you the... Okay. We understand. Yeah, I get it. Um, wait, can you let go? I have another question for you. I have another question. Can you let go? All the hairs on my neck just... Uh... Can you let go? I have another question. Let go. Let go. I want to ask you something. What? Let go. Please. That's straight up holding it. It's whatever's there. Literally, I talked about getting ready, going for bed, going to bed and stuff, and it just like, it's almost like it just grabbed it. Okay. Be okay. done? Okay, we understand. Can I ask you something? Don't touch it. Look. Oh. It's literally saying F you. Can, can we use that as a yes? Can you let go so I can ask you a question? Let go so I can ask you a question, please. We have a question for you. Stop. Back away. I'm gonna take it away if you don't if you don't listen. Stop. To, like, Stop or I'm taking it. Like tonight is not ears on purpose. Stop or I'm taking it. I've never heard it do that. I swear it like, cause that like, does that hurt your ears? Yes. Like I swear was doing that on purpose. To I've, I, this is going to sound like so crazy. I, I've actually literally never heard it that high pitched. That was crazy. That was too high pitched. It's high pitched when you hold it, but I've never heard it be that high pitched. Like it actually really hurt. Um, well, you can't follow us upstairs. I'm going to bed. I'm getting ready for bed. We'll maybe set up a couple of things, but I don't really have an interest in talking to you. Yeah, yeah, I'm leaving too. Fuck this. All right. Um, we're we're going upstairs and we're gonna we're gonna investigate our room a little bit and go to bed. Uh, I don't know how I feel right. I do know how I feel right now. I'm I'm I'm. I don't know. <laughs> Something. Uh, we're gonna go upstairs. Alright guys, so we're upstairs now and we decided not to investigate because there are other people sleeping here and you can hear everything in this house. So we're not investigating to be respectful of them. We're also like really, really freaked out over that experience. Um, 
So what's gonna happen is we're gonna go to bed in the murder room and I will let you know what happens in the morning. I'll see you then. So me and Lizzie woke up and we got ready and we are gonna go to, what's this place called? The cemetery. cemetery. I don't know what the cemetery is. I think it's called Oak something. Oak, yeah. Oak something cemetery where the family Lizbeth's is. Grave. Is it just Lizbeth or the whole family? The whole family. The whole family is buried there. So we're going to go there and we are going to debrief. We are going to talk about what happened to us last night and how we feel about this place. Is this recording? Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, we are now here at the Oak Grove Cemetery where the Borden family is buried. We are here to pay our respects, debrief about what happened during the night. And I just wanna let everyone know that from now on, I will be referring to Lizzie as Lizbeth since that was her preferred name after the killings. So we're gonna head on in and we are gonna find their graves, their grave site. But I wanted to show you guys this entrance. It is so, so stunning. I love this. This is so beautiful. So, Lizbeth's grave is over there, but I have to show you these ones right across from it. Look at the flower engravings. I love that. That is so pretty. And then there's one back there. And then look at this one. So pretty. All right, so now that we found Lizbeth's grave, we paid our respects, we said hi to her and her sister. Um, we're now going to debrief and talk about what happened yesterday and what happened last night while we slept. Yeah. So what did you feel last night? So all last night, I could not sleep. I just had so much happen to me. I got really, really hot, but I wouldn't leave the covers because I was scared. I was sleeping right next to where Abby died. Her body was right there. That's a little weird. Didn't like it. Don't know why I decided to do that. Um, not only that, but the entire night she kept popping up in my dreams, but they weren't like nightmares. I was having regular dreams and then she'd just be there. <sighs> Don't know what that means. And then not only that, during the night, you know when you pull a muscle and it hurts like really bad? Like a, like a Charlie horse in your leg. I had that in my arm. I had that in my arm and I'm surprised I didn't wake you up because I was like, ow, ow, ow. So I got hurt in my sleep. So there's that. That's so interesting. So my experience is totally different from yours, which I think is kind of like a cool aspect to investigating because like two people can go to the same place and have like totally different experiences. I will say, I had melatonin, <laughs> so yeah, that I probably did not. impacted some of it. But I felt very safe and very protected in that room. It felt like she, like knew that we were in there. And I don't know if it's maybe because she was like a, a you know a stepmom of two daughters or what it was. But it felt like she was protecting us a little bit because of what had happened. We respectful, I, oh, I'm sure. Other people, yeah, I'm sure. Um, but it just, it felt really good and there to me. However, you did say that she, you felt like she was like staring at you, which. Yeah, which wasn't, couldn't, have, it didn't have to be bad. It didn't have to be good, but I just, I kept seeing her. She didn't look evil. It was just her and she just kept popping up everywhere. All of my dreams. I'd be having a normal dream, bam. I'd wake up, go back to sleep, another dream, bam, there she is, I wake up. So it's like, was I feeling something? Was I actually seeing her? Was she really right next to me on that side of the bed where she died? Who knows, maybe it could have been my nerves because before we went to bed, that was pretty intense. It was, to have that Estes method before bed. <sighs> I did not like that Estes method. I'm normally, literally the only other time that I've ever felt that way was when I was told I was going to be murdered like six times in a row and I actually got scratched. That was at Fort Mifflin. That's the only other time I've actually ever felt scared. That scared me. I don't know what's in that house. I don't know if it's the house, which I think it is because at first it told us to go outside and everything and then the Ouija board and then it started, I think that's when it started to attack us. It started to get to know us, what we did last time. Maybe it heard us talking. Um, or it really did follow one of us. We don't know who it did and we're gonna find out. We're gonna see if it comes out in another video. So. And what was the 
was weird too is one of the people in the investigation last night, he was there for his 60th birthday and he woke up this morning and was gossiping to Kaylee and kind of telling her about like what they experienced last night. And I don't know if you want to share like kind of what he said to you. So this guy, I don't remember his name. I feel so bad. He was so sweet. Happy 60th birthday guy. He's probably going to watch this. We gave him our YouTubes. Um, he woke up telling me how he had a candy bar in his book bag and then all of a sudden it ended up in the bathroom floor which is weird because one of the one of the stories i told you guys at the beginning of the video was how someone's hat ended up in the bathroom i don't know what bathroom it was but it could have been his bathroom the uh main bathroom and then i don't know who the lady was i think that was his friend there was a lady in uh lizzie's room was beth lizbeth's room and she like loves her hair she has really long beautiful hair she brushes it before she goes to bed puts it in braids and then she woke up and brushed it before getting in the shower and she was saying how this normally never happens and all of a sudden she got in the shower and put conditioner in it she felt like she put like glue in her hair and her hair like was really really stuck together like it just wasn't going well and that never happens and she actually like lost clumps of her hair in the shower and what i thought that was is is, is it the negative thing attacking people where they know it like scares them because truthfully what scares me is something attaching to me that's the only thing that will scare me. Yeah. So, so it's like recognizing like weakness or something. Yeah, her hair. She yeah. loves her hair. Yeah. Is that it? It could totally be it. I it just added a whole other element to the video. Like, and I and I don't mean this to like take away from the case or whatever. I, I feel like this video ended up kind of going in a different direction. But like, very different. There was, there were so many other things because I just didn't even think about like researching like who else had been in the house after that like yeah. the girls uh, like just learning about the deaths next door mm -hmm. like that's so terrifying and then people coming and using that Ouija board and like someone taking it and then returning it yeah like, that's terrifying. I don't know so, if I put that knows? I don't know if I put that in the video but someone stole the Ouija board that they would leave there and people would use over and over and over again every single night probably thousands of people someone stole it and the story is is that they actually sent it back with a note saying like get this away from me or like make it stop make it stop that's so that's fucking so ominous terrifying. and you know what's really weird tonight you really did feel something outside and I thought you were like I thought you were like shit I was like, what? I don't feel anything I just bad. To make the video entertaining. Yeah, I'm like, I don't feel anything bad here other than the fact that I felt Andrew's anger and yeah. like my head hurt and I felt really sick. Yeah. Or maybe that wasn't him. Maybe it's not him. Maybe he's not the angry spirit. Yeah, maybe that's if some people are feeling something else. Yeah. Um who knows, really. You we never know. You never know with the paranormal. You will never truly know who you're talking to, what you're talking to. Is it a, is it a demon? Is it possible? Do they exist? I don't know. I don't believe in them, but when you hear evil things like that, something physically attacking you, attacking where they know it hurts, yeah. what is that? And that's where we're gonna leave this video off. So I guess ultimately, this case is still unsolved and i hope that someone comes in one day and either knows something or we're able to develop the technology in order to verify any dna that we have um, because i wonder how unrestful it is for lizbeth not having those answers because without that technology without finding any dna using paranormal investigating is not going to work because they clearly both don't know who killed them why would they one was sleeping, one had no defense wounds. They didn't know, it was it was like a sneak attack. Yeah. You're not gonna find out from them. Which is like something that I feel like surprised me in this investigation, even though like, of course, like that seems so obvious. I just hadn't thought about it. I was like, you know, we'll me be able either. to go and ask them and, yeah. and they'll know what happened. But no, like, of course they don't know what happened. I mean, they know what happened because, you know, they're surrounded with memorabilia yeah, but every single who, day. But they don't no know one who. knows who. Yeah. Not even them. So. Unsolved. Until again, Lizzie Borden House. Bye, Lizbeth. Bye, Lizbeth. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.